Hi, and welcome back to our channel. This week on our What's for Dinner video, I made four simple and delicious family-friendly pasta recipes. Every single recipe uses six ingredients or less, and I'll make sure to link the recipes in the description box. Meal number one is taco pasta. You are going to need one pound of lean ground beef, two cups of dry rotini, you're going to need some cheddar cheese, about a cup and a half. You're going to need one cup of onions. I'm using frozen because that's just easier for me. And you're going to need some taco seasoning mix. The first thing you're gonna do is cook your ground beef with onions until it's done. Go ahead and boil your pasta while your meat is cooking up. When your meat is done, you're gonna add in your water and your taco seasoning. And you're gonna give it a good stir. And you're just gonna let it cook for about five to 10 minutes or until that water is evaporated, has evaporated. Next, you're gonna stir in your cooked and drained pasta and your cheese. And you're going to cover your pasta with the cover of your pot and just let that cheese melt down. So here it is, very tasty. I like it a lot. I'll definitely make this again. I am serving it with some sweet corn and garlic bread. Today we're making ranch pasta with chicken. You are going to need egg noodles, Parmesan cheese, butter, ranch seasoning, and chicken. So in my skillet, I've got one stick of melted butter and I'm just adding my ranch seasoning to it. And to that, I'm just going to add my egg noodles that I've cooked up and drained. I did not rinse them. Now I'm gonna add in my cooked chicken and my cheese. And of course, you can add in more cheese than what I'm adding, of course. Just adjust it to your family's or your taste. So here it is, it's very good. If you love ranch, then you will definitely love this pasta. It's light and rich all at the same time because of that butter. And if you wanted some color to your dish or wanted to add some veggies, some frozen peas would also work well in here. So anyway, I am serving it with a breadstick. Simple, simple and easy dinner tonight. So today I am making French onion chicken noodle casserole. I have two cups of cooked chopped chicken and I actually um, cut this recipe in half because it was gonna be a lot just for Howard and I to eat. And then I am adding to it some French onion um, dip. This is a refrigerated kind and it is the one that is sour cream based. So I'm adding that in. Adding in a can of cream of chicken soup. And some cheddar cheese. Let me give it a stir. And to this mixture, I am adding three cups of egg noodles that I cooked and drained. So I have an eight and a half by eight and a half casserole dish that I sprayed with cooking spray and I'm just gonna pour in my casserole. By the way, I do have my oven preheating, or actually it's ready to go, preheated to 350 degrees. And I'm just going to sprinkle the top of the casserole with some French fried onions. And I'm just gonna bake this for about a half an hour. So here is the casserole. I baked it for half an hour and it is very good, nice and rich and creamy, very filling, serving it with a side salad. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you next time. Dinner today is a quick and easy vegetarian meal. You're going to need butter, heavy whipping cream, Parmesan cheese, fettuccine, and three cups of fresh broccoli. 
Okay, so I've got my broccoli sauteed and you want it crisp tender. You don't want it to be um, soft, you want it to be firm. And I have cooked it in butter and then I also used some of this seasoning salt as well. I'm adding in my heavy whipping cream. And I'm just gonna let this come to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna add in my fettuccine that I've cooked and drained. I didn't rinse it, but I did toss it with a little bit of butter to keep it from sticking together. And I'm just gonna let this come to a boil. Okay, so my mixture has come to a boil. I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit, and then I'm going to add in my fettuccine. So I've turned down my heat and now I'm just going to add in my Parmesan cheese and give it a good stir. And then I'm gonna remove it from the heat and just let it uh, set up a little bit. So it's been about five minutes since I took the pan off of the heat and I just wanted to show you all how it thickened up really nicely. Okay, so here is the fettuccine. It is rich and creamy and delicious. And with it, we are just finishing off the bag of salad that I had in the fridge. This is our final meal for the week. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see y'all next time.